Welcome fellow do-it-yourselfers, this is Crazy Welder here again having another how-to video for you guys. So in this one I'm going to be going over a fix for LCD monitors. I recently uploaded a video about LCD TVs but this one's going to focus on uh, LCD panels for your computer specifically. So what we've got here as you can see is actually one of my Samsung monitors that I recently took apart because it started restarting every about like 10 seconds after turning on and just it would go off. So, you know, I figured i open it up, see what's going on, and as per usual, it's a power supply issue, and specifically, it's actually bed capacitors. Um, I'm guessing Samsung and probably a lot of other manufacturers have just decided to cheap out on the capacitors that they put into the power supplies on this thing, so they've gone dead, um, but this kind of issue actually pretty much happens to all LCD monitors at some point, unfortunately. Uh, you'd be lucky if it is the power supply, because if the LCD panel goes, you're kind of out of luck, but... As for the capacitors, it's a fairly cheap and easy fix. So to get into this, um, this is the monitor that I have. It's a really old one. I bought it back in 2007. It's a SyncMaster 220WM. It's a 21 and a half inch monitor. And as you can see right here, I'm going to try and zoom in and show you guys as best as I can that the capacitors have bulged out. So you can see in comparison to these guys right here, which are doing okay, these have actually popped the tops quite significantly. So they're dead. But the fix is pretty simple, you know, you take the monitor apart, you pry this thing open, and you basically just take the capacitors out, you know, you get some soldering iron uh, going, and then put in new ones. And so then you're pretty much good to go at that point, and I'd highly suggest, you know, at this point, if certain capacitors like these guys have gone dead on you, then just get a same set and replace the same ones by the same company, because chances are, later on, the same thing's going to happen, and the other capacitors are going to go dead, so just save you a little bit of time down the road and you'll be able to get your monitor going again basically simple fix you know and you wouldn't have to spend you know however much money it would be to get a new one for the same size granted they're fairly cheap nowadays but you know just for fun get your soldering practice on and obviously you know feel accomplished about yourself having basically put the monitor back together now at the end of this video I'll show the monitor actually working once I'm done with all the fixes and then you guys will see it Alright guys, so here we go, a little progress update. The bloated caps are now out. I don't know if the camera can really focus in on this stuff too well, but as you can see, the tops are pretty messed up. You know, they've kind of bulged out and whatnot, but they're now gone, and then I've just replaced them with a new set, and the monitor is more or less back together. I just need to put the back case onto it, and you're good to go at that point. So pretty much going to be working is the next part. Alright, and so just like that, basically about 15 minutes later, two capacitors are placed, and you've got yourself a work living working monitor right there. Only took a little bit of time to put this thing back together, and as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. So a real simple, easy fix. Again, just a couple of dead capacitors, and it looks to me that this stuff, I'll try and uh, tell you guys the company name, um, it looks like Sam... XON, so Sam Samson, I'm guessing. Uh, you can see the label right there, hopefully. That's the guys you want to avoid. Looks like it's a green kind of capacitor. Um, GK, and looks like M in parentheses. So, you don't want to get these capacitors again. They will probably blow out on you. Now, it might also be the circuitry in the monitor itself um, sometimes, but here you go. Nice little solution, and you've got yourself another working monitor. Hopefully this video helped you guys out, and I'll see you in my next one.